Hey everybody, Bobby Chu here. I try not to let too many things bother me these days, but I did want to talk about one of them, and that is a lot of times I go traveling. I meet other artists, I meet other students especially, and I'll ask them one question specifically, which is, what is your ultimate artistic goal? And a lot of times I'm a little disappointed at what they'll say because they'll say something like, well, you know what, I don't really have that many big goals, or I don't have a goal, or... I just want to work in a studio. I just want to do anything. It doesn't really matter. I just want to, you know, I'll sharpen pencils. It doesn't matter. I'll go to them. Is that your ultimate artistic goal though? And after I prod them a bit more, then it'll come out. Well, you know what? I used to want to be a director. Oh, you know what? I used to want to be a primary character designer. But what happened was my teacher told me there's not too many jobs out there for character designer. I think you should lower your standards. I think you should go for something lower. And on a movie, there's not too many character designers needed. And then a lot of these character designers that are already out there have way more experience than you. So I don't think it's a good idea. Well, you know what? If you ask famous, successful character designers, you know, is it possible to become a character designer? They would say yes. They would say, absolutely, this is how you do it. You got to keep learning. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to be disciplined and so on and so forth. They would give you specific knowledge or advice and most likely, very, very likely, especially if they're very successful, they will say, absolutely, you can totally do that. When I want to start my own studio, what do you think people said? They said, well, I don't think that's a good idea either. That's a really bad idea because you don't have any experience. You should go out there and get 10 years of experience in somebody else's studio before starting your own studio. Well, you know what? A lot of things change over 10 years, especially in the gaming industry, the film industry, the animation, the industries that I want to be in. My own thinking was I would rather spend those 10 years building up my own studio. Well, when I told them, also, I want to start this studio in Toronto, Canada from the comfort of my own hometown, what do you think people said? They said, no way is that going to work. Everybody was saying, no, that's not going to happen. Don't do that. It's not a good idea. Well, when you keep learning, when you get really good at art, at a point, the whole world has no choice but to notice you. Trust me, I still live in Toronto, Canada. I still have my studio. If I listened to everybody else around me, I would probably be a lawyer right now or a dentist or something. Not like anything's wrong with that, but I love art and I'm meant to be an artist. So keep learning, keep practicing and believing in yourself because you know who is the worst critic? It's ourselves. Those people that I talk about that say, Oh, that advise us not to do this, not to do that, not to shoot too high. A lot of times that's us telling us and we are our own worst critic. And a lot of times we will tell ourselves things that are so mean that our worst enemies wouldn't even say to us. You know, that crappy piece of drawing there. How can you think that that's any good? Oh, this character design. Oh, you stink. You'll never get there. Things like that. You know what? Sometimes you got to take those voices and you got to just smack them down, smack them in the face. Tell them, hey, listen, this isn't helping. I need to concentrate on my dreams, get out of my face, get out of my way. So keep your heads down, keep learning, keep practicing, and keep getting better and surround yourself with successful people because those are the ones that will tend to believe in you. Now, if you're looking for great learning material, there's many different ways to do it, books, internet, online schools, such as schoolism.com. That's exactly why I made it. You're learning literally from the best artists in the industry. And we have two different versions. One is a very premium version with feedback from your instructors, paint overs on your own paintings. And then we have the very affordable version where it's self-taught. You sign up for a course, you download the assignments, you do the assignments, and you get better. That is very affordable at $15 per month. And if you sign up now, before September 30th, you will get the first seven days for free. So definitely try it out. Achieve those goals. I've opened the door for you, but I'm not going to drag you in. You have to walk through yourself. All right, everybody. I hope this has helped. And I'll catch you guys next time.
Now, as always, if this video has helped you, spread it around with your friends, share it on your social media, things like that. All right, everyone, so if you like the video, you wanna learn more, you wanna improve as an artist, highly recommend clicking over to Schoolism, signing up for the newsletter, because in this newsletter, you will always get free videos and tutorials and news about Schoolism so you can keep up to date with what's going on in the world. Click over now, and I'll see you guys next time.